embarrassing. Can we turn up the lights just a little bit? Um, because part of the reason I do this whole poetry thing and decided to come down is I like being around my people. So I might be able to see y'all. Because, you know, it's the whole eye contact thing. It's magical. Okay, um, no banter for Aaron. Bantering for Aaron is a bad fucking thing. Okay. So, part of the reason I do this is, again, I like to be around my people, because I know you're all here, so how many unmedicated manic depressives are in the room? What's up? Yeah, I dig it. So I wrote this poem for you. Um, yeah, we'll just jump right into the poetry. Um, so, a recent Harvard study just came out saying that unmedicated manic depressives are more than 500 times more likely to take our own lives if we remain unmedicated for a period of up to five years. Since that means if left to our own devices, we'll become our own executioners. Let's make each other a promise, shall we? If we decide to do it, let's at least be fucking creative about it! <laughs> become a semi-professional freeway semi-truck matador. <laughs> Organize your own home bleach taste test. Engage a grizzly bear in a staring contest. Refuse to lose until you do. <laughs> Four words. Drunken, cobra, make out, session. Treat heroin like a viable breakfast option. Little of that. Wolverines absolutely adore being juggled. <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. Most of my suicide attempts have not been what you would call fully committed. <laughs> Second story death plummets. Two whole bottles of NyQuil. Suspiciously loosely tied noose. <laughs> I have orbited around death my entire life with the same intensity I used to hover around the cool kids table in junior high. Hoping if I just got close enough, it would tell me all its secrets, welcome me in, and I wouldn't feel so fucking lonely anymore. Shit I've learned since then! <laughs> like the cool kids table! Death is not a mystery! It's just the place we ain't been to yet! I've never been to Scranton, Pennsylvania either! But I can say, <laughs> it's not a mystery! I bet you death has a Walmart too! <laughs> I get it! There are days that we're tired of clutching our endless tickets to the infinite parade of ugly. We're tired of always having to catch the knife by the handle. We're tired of looking into the mirror, into the eyes of our own eventual assassin. But look at us. When have we ever been good at anything easy? Look at the scars on our knuckles and the way the veins in our necks become taut cables from the screaming and the screaming. And tell me, when has there ever been a good night we've gone gently into? It's okay if you get depressed. It just means you've been paying attention. Thank you. Remember, the glass is half empty because you drank the other half. <laughs> that didn't kill you either. So come on, track mark Timmy. Come on, razor blade Betty. Let's be the prettiest dissing ballerinas still left twirling on the dance floor because the world is our party and the theme is industrial revolution. And don't worry, everybody knows you're coming as the train wreck. <laughs> Death is easy. There are real mysteries out there to be solved. Like, why are whales so goddamn awesome? And why are members of the NRA forced to wear necklaces made out of shattered skull fragments of five-year-olds? And why are all the homeless people in San Francisco obviously vampires? <laughs> they have to be. They never show up in photographs of the city, right? Uh. Real mysteries. Death has always been easy. Just ask Jesus. All you have to do is hang there. If you want to live, you got to move a fucking rock. Uh. <laughs>